So this is the Acer Predator Helios Neo 60. And the last time I saw this device was in London in the Nexa Acer launch event. And over there, we were not allowed to game or test it or do really nothing with it because there were show units. But guess what? It's in the studio today, so let's talk about it. And before I start gaming on this thing and seeing what performance is capable of, I think we should go under the hood. So literally, screwdrivers in hand, let's go. So the Neo 16 by Acer can be fully dismounted with the very tiny Phillips star screwdriver. And that is actually really nice. You got 11 screws all the way around. They're all the same size. And talking to the guys at Acer, they did tell me that this is fully upgradable. So you will not void your guarantee if you open this. Doesn't got any of your typical guarantee stickers poking around. And you can easily just take, as I said, 11 screws with normal Phillips screwdriver over here. And you will just get straight in. All screws are removed, you pull the back, make a very plucky like sewing. Um, that is the perforated back over here and this is what we got under the hood. So for the CPU this got a Intel i7 13700HX and a graphic card we're running a RTX 4060 with eight gigabytes of dedicated video memory. Over here you've got 16 gigabytes DDR5 and this can be fully upgradable up to a 32 gigabytes. And for storage, on this side we've got half a terabyte or NVMe SSD PCI Gen 4 and over on this side you've got a slot number two where you can put a another PCI NVMe Gen 4, but this time will be a 2242 in size, so one of the smaller versions. This model over here only got half a terabyte. You can build it up to two terabytes in the website, and if you add an extra one as well, half a terabyte is not enough, and I have mentioned this on Twitter quite a bit, like game developers are doing games at over 100 terabytes, uh, sorry, over 100 gigabytes. Um, half a terabyte is not enough. But in this model, we got, as I mentioned, 16 gigabytes of RAM, half a terabyte, i7, 13700HX, and an RTX 4060. And you can fully appreciate the cooling design with the typical Acer Predator Aero Blade fifth generation over here. This time we got plastic fans over here and we got all the copper pipes and all the heatsink going around. But down below you would find the battery, you would find Wi-Fi over here and also some speakers. So that was internally, but externally in terms of connectivity, you got a RJ45, a USB type A 3.2, a micro SD card, maybe that's one of the downsides of this laptop is micro SD card and a microphone headphone combo jack. And on the other side, you got two more USB type A 3.2, but guess what? We got ports at the back, Pew Gaming here. So at the back, we got two USB-C with Thunderbolt 4 and display capabilities, HDMI 2.1 and a Mahusive Barrow power adapter jack to pair it with the Mahusive 330 watt power supply that includes in the box. So that is huge. Now let's talk about the screen very quickly because this is a 2560 by 1600, so a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, full 
HD with 165 hertz panel. On top of the screen, you got a webcam, but no, it doesn't have Windows Hello or it doesn't have a fingerprint either. So you just need to enter the password every now and then. All right, so here we got Hogwarts Legacy running uh, higher settings at Ultra. We're putting about 30, 35 to 37 here inside of um, inside of the castle over here. But this is without any of the NVIDIA DLSS and nothing like that on. So if we go over to settings, you can see the preset, the quality preset is in Ultra over here. And if we go to video mode, we go 2560 by 1600 and upscale, we can put NVIDIA DLSS. That's using DLSS I Auto, but we can put it on quality and see how that runs. And if we go down, we go VSync off. Yeah, VSync off, frame breaks and cap. I know the rest looks brilliant. So, so we went from 40 to 47 to 80 to 82 FPS. So that's basically nearly double. Got a bit of a lag there. But it's, it's running pretty well. It got 80, 80 degrees sorry, on the CPU and on the GPU package, we got 81 degrees. And uh, if we go up the stairs, I need to do the quest, okay. Okay, running around 60 right now. Uh, every now and then have a small dip, but just remember this is in everything ultra with DLSS on and frame generator on as well. So yeah, around 60 to 70 FPS and the temperatures are kind of rising, 80 degrees, 81, staying kind of there, I mean, it's playable. So another very heavy load game is Cyberpunk 2077. Um, here we got it running on the Neo 16. Right now it's doing 42 FPS. Looking over here, we got a bit more close to the smoke maybe. Yeah, 45, 45 FPS around that. And this is with settings in Ultra, I believe. So we got VSync on, we got full screen, 2560 by 1600 over here. And then if I change to, if I go to graphics, we got a preset of ultra. We got a preset of ultra, so I can use that one with, why not, DLSS, frame generation, automatic super resolution, dynamic resolution scaling is off. Why not let activate as well DLAA and that's the same. Um, we're gonna leave everything the same. So we press apply. We're going back to the game now. Um it's kind of running similar. 38, 38, 40. So that didn't make much a difference to be honest. So let's try it one more time. We we'll leave DLSS frame generator on super resolution is off and DLAA is off. So I'm gonna leave it literally at the preset of Ultra that the game is giving me. And if I go back and back again, all right, that made a jump, that made a little jump. So we got 59, 59 FPS running Cyberpunk 2077. And it's actually quite playable. If I say myself, don't really know how to play this game. But I really want to try ray tracing. So I've seen the option of ray tracing over here. So if I go to graphics, quick presets, we got Steam Deck and we got ray tracing, low, medium and ultra. So I'm gonna just start in low and see where that takes us. So select that one. Okay, go back, go back. Um, and I cannot really see the difference of ray tracing, to be honest. There'll be more details in the lights over here and just... And I think the last game we need to test today is gonna to be Forza Horizon 5. Probably 
the best card game out there if you just like used to mess around basically. So we thought the settings on stream Forza Horizon 5 in the Neo 16 by Acer is pulling around 69 to 70 frames a second. But let's use the whole power of the 4060 RTX in this machine. So let's go back to settings to video. So we got 2560 by 1600 frame frame rates and lock. Vertical sync is soft. DLSS, we're gonna turn that one on, and that's on auto, frame generation is on, reflex latency is on, so we're gonna leave it all at that. We are up in the mid 90s, so that's 91, 92, depends where you roughly are, 94, so just right there. But yeah, temperatures are like 85 and 86 on the GPU. But Forza Horizon 5 in the Neo 16A looks incredible and B, it performs with no issue. I think the problem is the driver here. But now a quick recap over here because this is the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16 2023 version and it's got a i7 13700HX, 16 gigabytes of RAM, half a terabyte of storage and a full RTX 4060 mobile GPU, 165Hz display, and of course, full pair key RGB gaming keyboard, and the whole Predator Sense. And with a simple click of a button, you can go from balance to performance, all the way to Turbo. On the way to Turbo, and this is probably one of the problems with the Neo 16. And may you have realized I'm shouting now because the fans are kicking up like crazy. 16,000 RPM pair fan over here really can feel the heat coming through the side over here. So, this is one of the downsides of the Neo 16 is in turbo mode, it can get a little bit loud. Slightly bit heavy, 2.8 kilograms. And why it doesn't have a full SD card? Who use micro SD card nowadays? And if you want to buy the Neo 16, it's available right now. You've got three models to choose from the configurator. Pricing going between 1,200 US dollars to 1,550 US dollars. So depending, but thank you very much to Acer, UK and Predator to send me the Neo 16 to review over here. It's been a blast. Beautiful, portable laptop that it gains with no problems whatsoever. And it's just a full on beat. So if you're looking for any further videos over here, you will see many other videos, but don't forget to follow me everywhere, subscribe, like this video, comment any questions. But I'm Chekotek. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.